live with my brother-in-law, Clint Paris, Trading 101. <laughs> oh, so go ahead, continue, Look brother-in-law. That video? Yeah. yeah no, don't put that on. on oh, no, face. no, no. This is for when I get. Okay, come, come so. Sit down, come sit down. But I was still trying to eat my That's fish. Like, bring your uh, down, Bogey. Go. You can bring that little that stool and eat on it. Bogey, down. Just, Out. Go. There you go. All right. So, so we're looking at this this stock. And the price of the stock is twenty one eighty seven. The first question is: Is that a good or a bad number? The first thing I would look at when I look at a stock is it's 52 week range. How low has it gone the last year? How high has it gone? And every day that range moves because stocks have what's called a breakout sometimes where they come outside of the range. So in this case with Mosaic, the low for the last 52 weeks is $17.36. The high is $33.91. Right. That means at $21, it's towards the bottom. Right. Which means... In August, it bottomed out, looking at this, and it's on the way up. So it went down from February of last year to August. Since August, it has been creeping back up. So it's up $4. That is a good sign. So that's one of the other things you look at. So we looked at. What made you right? pick Mosaic? Uh, somebody in our organization that, that, that we're in our family uh, recommended we buy this stock. And this is the one that we selected most recently. Um the next thing you want to look at are things like the price to earnings ratio, the earnings per share. So last year they lost, looks like they lost nine cent per share. Right here, the next earnings release is in February. Right. So that's probably why it's creeping up for that next earnings release. So those are some basic things you'll look at. Now, watch this. The other thing I like to look at is what's called analyst research. That's what the professionals say. So let's look up and see what the professionals say about this stock. Okay. All right, so they have a target average average price targets is twenty four dollars. Right, so that's three dollar increase in the last eight months. Eight uh, ranked set uh, price targets for this. That's how we get that number. And this platform is through E Trade. This is through E Trade. Yeah, I just pulled up E Trade uh, to take a look at this. Um, and then the question in the other one is, uh, let's see here, no insider trading. And then we look at news. What kind of stuff is in the news about them? So we took a quick look at that. Let's see what the news says. Uh, so there's no bad news posted here about them either. So. And, and Clint, um, E-Trade, um, I, I think with the course that I took, you know, through Mildred Bean, like with Charles Schwab, it's like, Four ninety five a trade. Are there fees to trade? I think we're free now because we've been with them so long. So okay. We don't pay, we don't pay them. All right. For, uh, for them. So we're gonna go in and try to figure out a, a price. It was at twenty, I think fifty. Let's see what that looks like. Um, so forty five shares. So we're gonna do a thousand dollars for that share. Forty five seventy two. So if you buy a thousand dollars worth of this, this gets you how many shares? So forty-five. So I'm gonna do forty-five, and then I'm gonna set it for market when the market opens, uh, and so it comes out to be nine hundred eighty-four dollars and fifteen cents. Right. Yeah. Then we will get out. So and we go in here, preview the order. Hmm. Do place the order. Do do, cancel it. Well, so we go here, click that, and that order is placed. And on Monday, when the market opens, it has been placed. It's order number 98 on the open. It will automatically buy that. Right. Okay. And then if that stock, like how long will you, will you hold on to this? We don't, we, unless we rarely sell. We buy good value. And, we let and sit on it. And you sit on it. Let me show you something. Let me go here. I can to some account stuff portfolio. So these are. Let's see if I can. Boom. So these are portfolio. This is a portfolio for our club. 
and these are companies that we own right here and there's the prices and whatnot price we paid and the current price for some of them and then how much the increase so the greens are ones are increases see where that green is green, right. green is this fb facebook fb is facebook don't want none of that boy you don't want none of that you don't want none of that Ooh, ooh, gotta get it, gotta get it early. Ooh, ooh. You gotta get it early. Ooh, so, so, that's so Facebook, for so for that's pe- Home Depot, right? That's Hewlett Packard. Um, uh, that's Lowe's, Microsoft, Nokia, Oracle, Price Fister, Starbucks. You don't want that Starbucks either. That stuff's juicy, right? Starbucks, uh, Snapchat, uh, Sketchers, Sirius. Serious is a nice one too. The radio XM radio, mm-hmm. yes sir, yes sir. And, and so like Uber, right? Verizon, Walmart. You notice we notice the big names, right? Because we buy for value long term to hold it. You, this is not the kind of thing you get into. Uh, uh, this isn't like a day run. trading Mm-mm. type. This is long term. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you want to you don't want to play you. you the average person will get beat every day day trading because the professionals are going to beat you. Right. They're professionals sitting at a desk. That's all they do. Well, you work a regular job and you're trying to day trade. It's just impossible to, for you to outdo the market. It's just impossible. Gotcha. You know, um, it just so. Uh, but anyway, so on our, our account, since we opened it, is up to uh, 223%. Last year we did right at 29%. And we're just amateurs, right? But and you buy what you use, right? And if you're living in, and if you're living in South Florida, and you're going to concerts in Wynwood, paying five hundred dollars for a bottle, save that money and invest in this your long term game. Because mm. no, don't do that. You won't. You won't do it. Buy a bottle for two fifty for <laughs> that bottle, and invest the other two fifty. Gotcha. And then you still, you'll still feel fulfilled. You had a good time. Right. I don't know what you get, but you can get something nice for two fifty. Right. And then you don't feel like you're depriving yourself. Right. So the whole reason to have money is to buy stuff. Right. Right. You know. But when it comes to money, it's like a lot of people spend money going this way, like from the surface up as opposed from the surface down. And what I mean by surface down is foundation, core, then surface, as opposed to from the surface to... Cars, clothes, dinners, well, vacations, and things. You be, yeah, you know, consumables. As opposed to things that appreciate in value. Like I had a guy come in my office and he said he was having a six-figure jewelry day. He was right. wearing six figures in jewelry. And I asked him about it. I said, why you buy so much jewelry? He said, well, gold is one of the most best things you can invest your money in. I buy big. He was like, I got it. Like, this is $9,000. This is 17000 These rings are 25000 each. He had on a bunch of gold. And I said, what else you buy? Oh, I, he said, I buy three things. I buy exotic cars, I buy real estate, and I buy gold. And he's absolutely right. Now, he does it in a hood way, but that's exactly the core thing that Donald Trump and, you know, when, when, when Jay-Z is talking about the buying the painting right. on the wall right. and it goes up in value, right. that's kind of the concept. But you have to, we have to find those things in our community that will appreciate in value. And this guy was all, he was all blinged out. I would have never thought it was, it was big hook chunks, big nasty ropes. Like diamonds. Slick Rick. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. So the idea is to buy those things that appreciate in value. Now he had bought, uh, you know, really expensive hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cars. You, you don't go and buy a Lexus as an investment. And Lexus is enjoying riding, but it's going to depreciate just like a Toyota Camry. Because that's really what it is with a different symbol on it. Right. You know, so it's hard to buy a vehicle. If the vehicle doesn't cost over probably, you know, $150,000, it's probably going down in value. It's only when you get into that range that they don't make a lot of those cars and the car becomes a collector's item relatively quickly. Right. So most people think, oh, I've got this old, you know, uh, 64 Impala, it's a collectible. No, it's not because there are hundreds of thousands of those things and all somebody has to do is take one, fix it up, and they've got basically, you know, uh, you know, the exact same thing that you've got. So those aren't really good, you know, from an investment standpoint to appreciate or get back what you put into them. You know, so 
But this is the way. This right here, the computer. Over over how much time did you acquire this many? Oh, uh, no, this organization's been around since '98. Okay, so this it's is your family. This is your family. family you, this is yeah. your family investment organization. Right, right. So yeah, you, you exactly. all have been right. doing this since ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. Yep. So is some of this stuff in your portfolio from ninety eight? Mm-hmm. McDonald's. Right, right. You know, <laughs> it was a big, it was a big, you know, big controversy. But we've owned like McDonald's, Oracle. We've owned that since way back in Nokia. We got that it was right. big on Pager, Starbucks. We done rolled that up and down a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Some newer stuff you see is Snapchat. Right, you know that's a newer pickup that you know we have, but we buy big, strong companies, uh, you know that that we plan to keep for a long time, you know. Oh, the, bogey, uh, get uh, bogey down, off bogey, okay. So let me give you some inside stuff. So like, take let's take uh, let's take Skechers. When we bought Skechers, it cost four dollars and sixty cent. Right. Four dollars. See that price paid? Four dollars and sixty cent. Right. The current price is forty one dollars and ninety cent. Right. That gives you an idea, and we didn't we didn't buy that much, you know. We only bought seventy five shares, you know, and it it ran from there. You know, other other companies we looked at. You know, we have younger people in the organization. They they thought Snapchat's a good pickup, you know. So we went out and bought bought some Snapchat. Um, you know. So anyway. That, that's the, the long and the short. So two things you want to do. You want to learn about investing, put your money somewhere, right? When you go to look to buy stuff, buy what you use. And don't buy the seat. The, look. When you go to the store and you go, oh, I love Old Bay seasoning. Look on the back and see who make it. Right. Oh, and then go research that company. And right. Think, and then you buy that, you know, or something else that you that's, that's a signature thing that you like to do. And you're like, man, everybody, you know. Like it would like we bought Skechers because at our meeting no. like five people had on a pair of Skechers, and we thought, wait a minute, if if all these people are buying this shoe, let's go take a look at it. Right. Um. You know, uh, Uber is a, is another one. You know, we looked at Uber, and we decided that Uber would be a good company to buy because it is the standard. Now there are a lot of people competing, but Uber is the biggest, the strongest, right. and ultimately right. it's going to win out. Right. Right. Yeah. Ultimately, when it's all said and done, um. It's going to win out. You, you know, we went and bought Walmart. People are like, oh, you bought Walmart. Look at this. We paid $52 for Walmart. Walmart is trading at $114. Mm-hmm. Verizon, we paid $29 for Verizon. Verizon's pr- trading at $60. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, you know. Um, you know, here's another one. Um, uh, Under Armour, we paid $3.50. Under Armour's trading at twenty dollars and thirty nine cents, but that's over time and incrementally. You know, it creeps up. You know, and we bought Under Armour because they were at a high school game giving away. They were giving away sports gear, and one of our members was there, saw that it was being given away. We researched and went, "Hey, Alan, we like that model. They've got something. They're getting branding young kids that may carry over into the future." You know, serious, serious. Sears was a co- controversial, you know. Um, it was trading at two dollars and two cent when we bought it. It's at seven dollars now. That's a three hundred percent increase. Now, at the, the reason we bought that is they were putting Sears free in everybody's car for right. a year. I you should just I should just bought a car that has Sears in there. First time she let me drive it, I was like, yeah. I was like, let's get off of ninety nine jams. Yeah. Right, right. Turn on, turn well, this on. And yeah. Then, and in a year, you're conditioned not to just. Um, following and listening to that, you know, so it's a good marketing, uh, um, you know, for this right here, this SAIC, they're a military company. You know, we bought them at $33. They're at $92. Uh, Price Fister, you know, we're going to buy another, um, we bought them, you know. Is that Pfizer? It's Pfizer. Pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals. You know, we just, we, and I got to do another trade now on... Um, a company that sells, um, they just got approved for a, a uh, vaccine. And uh, we, we decided we we're going to buy some of it. It's a flu vaccine. Right. And they just got approved for flu season. Uh, um, well, guess what? You're going to have another flu season in a minute. So, Novavax is what the company is. So, let's take a look at that. We're going to do analysis Novavax, which is no. 
Uh, there it is, Novavax. All right. So Novavax, take a look at it. And not a big company. So their last... $5.74 a share. $5.74 a share. So I need to jump on this. It may be. Right? So you have, and then you have to have some rules for your investing. Right. Like we, we, we're about $1,000 to $1,500 that we invest in any one stock. We don't put like 8000 in a stock. We right. buy incremental amounts, and then we let it ride from there. So, uh, so anyway... So we'll, um, you know, we'll we'll invest. Like I said, another thousand. That was it was approved about a thousand dollars of that. So, but it, it's creeping right now because it is. Um, they got that approval the other day, and this is a little bit different. But it's, again, it's a long term buy. So we're gonna go here on the buy. Yeah. And uh, it's a buy. Let's see that. What is, what was that number? It was at uh, four dollars. So about two. So we only got two, two, two. Good. Lucky man. Must be hard, man. 163 shares for $1,000. Yep. There we go. Come on, man. Come on, man. I've been wrong with somebody. Let's see the price. We want to go up market. You want to miss the most? What's that? The total price would be 935 So. Easy to work. Go. It looks good to me. Place it. Place order. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Mm-hmm. And it's done. And then let it ride. And then as it, it goes up, it goes up. you got it for the low. Down. Right. It goes down in time. You just sit back and wait. Like we bought right. McDonald's and it was in the toilet for years. And I don't know what McDonald's is now. But uh, where was I at? So let's see. I'm going to pull for you. McDonald's. Oh, I don't think we sold that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what McDonald's. So which one is Alex again? Samantha, what is it? What is this? I don't know. Yeah. Are you still that? Yeah. So what kind of question you other question you have? All right. And so um, first, first things first is about the platform. So uh, with E-Trade, you get an E-Trade account and then you fund your account, meaning that you right. put your, like a bank account. it's just like a bank account. Right. You fund it Correct. and then you research um, your stock and see um, the hot, you do the 52 week research in the context of the highest that it's gone in 52 weeks versus the lowest that it's gone so it's in 52 the, weeks. It's called the uh, 52 week high low range. Right. Right. It's so real out there right now. That's what it is. You like my hair, Daddy? I love it, baby. Hey, so you want the 52 week range? Okay. That's what you want to look up. He himself. So you look up the, the range. Um, let me think. Think of, th- th- think of something you do. Who makes Obey? Seafood. Them doing something you like. Like, who makes that? Um, I'm not sure. What is, is it? Old Bay? Yes, Old Bay. Seasoning. Yes. Old Bay Maker. Uh, or Manufacturer. Yeah. Main. Make of Old Bay is seasoned Sue McCormick. McCormick. All right, let's go. So we're going to go look up McCormick. Okay. So the other thing is, now next question is, what's their symbol? McCormick stock symbol. Or Mick. McCormick stock. Let me be close to the price. 
It's MKC and it's one hundred sixty-eight dollars. MKC one hundred sixty-eight dollars a share. That's a generic Bing search. Let's see what it, let's see what they have here. This this information here. So it's selling. It's one hundred sixty-eight. It's five point four billion revenue in eighteen. Um, Cause McCormick made Lowry's, which is you know black yeah, folk yeah, favorites. Yeah. <laughs> um, seasoning. Uh, it was MCD. What did I say it was? MKC. 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 All right. We'll do some research on it. All right. The same things I would normally look at. Why am I looking at this? Oh, because we use it. We right. Stuff. So, last price one sixty eight. 52 week, week range, 119. Right, 171. 173, and it was at 173 in December. You know. so, so it's go, so it's gone down yeah, by like $5. So, so, yeah, so it's gone down, right, since December 6th. That's when it was its high. In January last year, it was at its low. Right. So a lot of things you'll find in stocks are, they, they are they're, they're cycles. They repeat themselves. Right. So the high low range, it goes up and down the same thing. It keeps inside that range until some reason for it to break out of the range. Right. Something happens and it goes up or something happens and it goes down. So there's a 52 week. Now here's something we didn't talk about before. Price to earnings. And that is the price of the stock compared to the earnings. So the price right now is 31 times earnings. A good place for stock to compare to earnings is in the 20. Is, is, is somewhere in the, you know, the 20s are good now. Um, uh, let's see here if I can find what does the analyst research say. Boom. Now watch this. I think we still talk about this. So the analyst, you know, I believe in look, look at professionals and hear what the professionals say about it. Peter Gablo says hold it. I don't know who Peter is. But these are usually uh, right. traders. So right. Merrill Lynch, UBS, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs. Right. So one says hold, one says sell. So look, I would buy this. See that? Hold, sell, hold, sell, hold. You want where they have more of these have buy or neutral. Right. Okay. And then there's an article to go with it. Why is he saying sell it? Let's take a look. All right. There it is. So that's how you do your research, though. Right. You know, you, if you just you just on the market here. Here's the analyst research. You just, you know, you see, it's analyst can make downgrade it. It's a sell with the one forty seven. Let's see why they say why. Higher inflation uh, and a return to a normalized tax rate. We believe the headwinds are not fully reflected in the consensus. For, for uh, uh, for twenty twenty twenty, so that's kind of a way to right. go about looking at it. right. And I'm going to conclude this part of the video. This is free game, and this is for me to study. I'm going to share it with my girlfriend. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm going to share it with my girlfriend, and just you know, to to show the plausibility of investing your money and it being something that's long term as opposed to because again the the online class that I took with Mildred Beam excuse me was more it was called stock trading 101 but it was more so designed for something you're going to wake up and do every day and more more in the context bogey 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 wow. it's, it, it's okay oh. you know hey man, chill, bogey. <laughs> And so um, Mildred's class is more so, it, 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 she should have called it day trading 101 um, as, opposed to, as opposed to stock trading. And that's where she talked about, you know, you know buy, buying and selling between margins, you know, the maximum that you want to pay for something if you buy it, the, the, the lowest you want to pay for something if you were to sell it. Margin is credit. Margin is credit. That's where you you put in a thousand dollars and they let you buy three thousand. You know, but if you lose, you know, fifteen hundred, they can do what's called the margin call, and that's where you have to deposit. Have to deposit more money, right? Don't do it. I mean, 
this is not for it's not don't go this is not gambling you know it's not can be it can't be treated like you know the the, the casino right this, this is where you're 